Well, here we are, class. Now we're in video storytelling mode by video class. So the whole rest of this class is going to be barely video based. Now we're off from being on campus until April, but I just got word yesterday that my conference in Vegas was canceled. That was the one that was in mid-April. And that only makes me think that we're probably gonna extend this situation a little farther out. I would really, really love to get back to campus by the end. I think that would be really great. But in the meantime, we do have to continue as is, this way we could get through the rest of the semester. You are still responsible for the rest of your videos, which is somewhere between four and five for some of you. Now I'm gonna cut that back because in this situation, it will actually wildly limit your exposure to content. So what I think is I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this six and seven, total of six or seven total, all right, rather than eight. This way it relieves some of the burden of having to do some of this product because I know that a lot of this will become more stressful based on your immobility and your um, access to machines that were at school in case you were using those to edit. So I don't really wanna burden you with um, extra work like that. So next week is spring break. So I think the only assignment that I'm gonna give you over the break is to create another video. I think that's really important. Um, I'm gonna give you the analytics um, assignment after spring break. So what we're gonna do is probably the following Tuesday, I'm gonna put that on Canvas, and I'm gonna give you the rules and the rubric of how to promote that material. So as I explained in class, you basically create a video, well, you use one of your videos that you have, and then you make a piece of social material, social first material off of Spark, or some type of social thing like Canva, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna use that to promote yourself on either Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, or so forth. And you're gonna take a uh, sense of like how much viewership you had before you did the promotion and then how much you did afterward and if it was effective or not. It's a very short process, but it is a good way of understanding how promotional tools work. It is a good way of understanding how those tests work as well. Aside from that, uh, as I explained in class, we're also going to be doing um, some lectures just like this, the way you're seeing it, except they're gonna be in playlist mode, which means you'll see me talk and then you'll be followed up by some videos that you'll understand the entire lecture. I've been doing it that style for many, many years. I'd prefer not to do it that way. I really like in-class situations, but I have done these lectures online for ever. I mean, you'll find them, I mean, if you just scroll down on this, literally on this website, on the, my channel, you'll find old lectures that I've done since 2008 or nine. Um, so it is, um, I'll just be redoing them for you uh, just to make them fresh. I, I don't believe really in reusing old lectures. So I will be making more, and I think that's important for you guys because we do have a lot more to go over and two or more, three more things that I really, really wanted to get done before the end of the semester, but you know, we'll convert it to this way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to build out the rest of the canvas, which in this class isn't really that hard because it is really just videos as production. And then the, the rest, instead of being in-class lectures, they're gonna be online lectures and that means you're gonna be required to respond to that. So that response can be done either by video, I don't mind if you respond in vlog format, if that makes you feel more comfortable, um, or written, you know, so it's up to you. Uh, if you do it by vlog, it should be about as long as this, like three to five minutes. Um, and if you do it by um, typing, it should be two to three pages. And this way, you know, you, you cover up, you cover the entire topic so I know that you've actually understood and analyze the lecture that I was going for. So that, that will be done. But be patient, be safe, and enjoy your spring break as much as possible. Like try, to, try your best to actually like do normal people things. Obviously try to stay safe and healthy and avoid uh, the ways that you could potentially catch this. Um, and then when we get back from spring break, you'll, the whole canvas will be operational and you could see how it works. And this way, um, we'll get a sense of how the rest of the semester will go. Most schools like Malloy and Hofstra promise that they're gonna talk about the rest of the semester on March 23rd. So that does mean we're gonna to have to wait to find out how the rest of this will go. And that's okay. We will be flexible and we will make it work. Uh, if you have any questions or you require any way of um, meeting up in not this asynchronous way, obviously that's very available. We could do Skype, Zoom, or so forth. We do not require at this moment any live in-class sessions. That doesn't mean that we won't actually do it at some point. Um, but at this moment, it will turn to an asynchronous class, meaning you'll watch videos and you'll respond with videos. So that's how it'll work. All right, until next week, uh, enjoy your spring break and do your best to stay safe. And I will talk to you soon.